In Finland, we have two types of hunters. The one who is coming back to home without meat, and the other one who is coming back with the meat. You can think which side I am. I'm um, Henrik, live in the northern part of Germany, and I'm a passionate hunter. My name is Tom Davies. Um, I'm based at the uh, south side of Dartmoor and I run a venison business. My name is Mark and I'm a hunter from Mid Wales in the UK. My name is Riccardo Tamburini. I live in uh, Umbria. Yeah, I can consider hunting uh, is a part of my life. It's a lifestyle. This is my dog Isku and he's a very professional hunter. doing anything that brings us closer to nature, and that might be hunting for some, fishing for others, hiking, I don't know what, you know, you name it. Uh, but we should try to stay in touch with where we come from. Hunting is my passion. It's a way of life, it's my work, it's my hobby. And since 11, I've been hunting all my life. Oh, hunting's always been my life. Um, you know, I used to, when I was in my teens, I'd hunt more than I would work. <laughs> when you say hunting, most people who do not hunt think about hunters as people who go out, kill an animal and go back home. And that's only a fraction of what hunting is. It's not all about going out and, and eradicating foxes. That's not what any responsible hunter wants to do. What we want to do is just control the problem at the time. So if a farmer is losing lambs, then we will go and we'll, we'll, we'll sort the problem out and take that one fox that's causing the problem. We need the farmers. Hunting and farming should always go together. Hunting actually is the only way to prevent some damages to the crop devastation. Yeah, if you're out hunting, it's not just always about getting the hunt, getting the animals that you need. Uh, getting the animal, yes, is important, but uh, for me it's more important to spend hours in the wildlife, looking for the animal, trying to understand uh, better their habits, also because I'm very curious. I mean, that's, that's the precondition, you need to be curious, right? Um, you need to have a general interest. The coming on the market of thermal devices changed the life of everyone who loves to stay uh, in the nature. Uh, of course, also uh, to the hunters. It's not about a second or third follow-up shot. It's about one shot. One shot, one kill. That's the intention. You need to be able to identify what you're shooting. That is the most important thing. When you're doing any, anything nighttime shooting, you, the number one thing is you must know your ground. You must know the, all, of, all the safe backstops, and you must be able to identify what you're shooting at. Technology is absolutely fantastic now. So any equipment that I choose to use, it ideally is always you know top spec equipment. Good means you need to be able to rely on it. Um, it needs to have a quality that you can depend on. The giant step made from technology uh, applied to thermal vision is incredible. When you've got all those things in place, then it is safe to actually take the shot. And that's what makes it more successful, is having the right equipment. That's why I use the best, basically. Yeah, it's just been absolutely fantastic. So I can, yeah, couldn't ask for anything better, really. What more could I want? <laughs> Not much.